Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about simplifying radical expressions. So if I was given this expression, negative 6 times the square root of 150r, okay. But 150, I need to break that down. Well, 150 uh, can be really, what, 15 and 10? Pretty easy to see. 15 is 3 and 5. That's a uh, 3 out of 5. 5 right there, and 10 is 5 and 2. Okay, so now, and uh, R is just by itself, so now we have to find our pairs. The only pair I see is a pair of fives, okay? So when we, multiply, when we simplify this out, the negative six stays on the outside, we're gonna multiply that by one of our pairs, which is a five, it's the only pair. Everything else, every other single element, stays inside the square root. So we have two times three times R, okay? So we have the two, uh, three times two, two times three, and then the R by itself. So now, let's simplify this. 6 times 5 is 30, and it's a negative 6, so it's a negative 30 times the square root of 2 times 3, which is 6, r, and that's it. Pretty simple. My final answer would be a negative 30 square root of 6, r. So let's recap. We're giving negative 6 times the square root of 150, r. 150 breaks down to be 15 and 10, and 15 and 10 break down to be uh, 3 and 5, and 5 and 2, respectively. I circle my pair. I have a pair of 5s right there. So a pair of fives, uh, what is the only pair I have, is represented by a single five outside the square root. All the other singles are left inside the parenthesis uh, in the square root, giving me a negative six times five times the square root of two times three times r. Simplified that, and it's got my final answer here now of negative thirty times the square root of six.